wins. Winners. This is wins. We've been on. We're in wins. <laughs> we we in wins. We in wins right now. We in the wins, boys. And we're gonna go Falcon versus yeah, Pete. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, like, I feel like Nico was not feeling Falcon in that match. That does seem pretty rough. But I expected him to continue to play this character in this tournament. Yeah, he's still having fun with the character. Ironically, though. Ironically. Ironically, of course. It's a parry on the dare. Oh, tomahawk grab coming in from Nico. Yeah, like, he, he, he's either getting stomped or you're going to get grabbed. But yeah, it just feels like he's, this pressure is overwhelming Razo right now. Yeah, but like, Razo, Razo could exude the same amount of pressure that Nico can. And that's going to be a big problem for Nico. Yeah. It's like, like you're, you're having a character that actually could box you. Well, the th thing is, though, that, like, I felt like Razo missed some openings there earlier just because, like, Nico is just in his face doing all these, uh, putting out all these hitboxes. Mm -hmm. He just wasn't ready for it. Kind of. But I'm expecting Razo to get, adapt to that as the set goes on. Yeah. Oh, great fair. That was so much shield pressure. <laughs> we went low to try to catch him with the upbeat. That bear beat out fair. Oh, um, yeah, fair has a lot of startup on it. And no, it like does, it was after. <laughs> well, it, the move starts up high. Yeah. So I think he's just kind of under it there. It's like a sword move where it just kind of arcs across. Up uh, there, no, that's not going to connect. Down throw into forward tilt, into forward tilt again. That new peach tech. Yeah, Razo always showing us something spicy with this character. Nice parry, getting him with a bear, but that dash attack not gonna connect. Oh. But dare into knee, stump to knee. Nico, how dare you? Sorry, that was bad. That that type of stuff we love to see as Falcon. Oh, I like the beefy up B coming in from uh, Razo. Yeah. I mean, Falcon's not that scary on the ledge, to be honest. But I mean, just to get back and give yourself some breathing room. It's, a big deal. It's pretty scary. He's got up tilt. He's got like any other option. He's pretty aggressive. That bear is actually ridiculous. Uh, if you're it's in the not corner. like, like this, he could kill you. Yeah. Yes, but he's got to commit pretty hard to it. Yeah, he does have to commit. Oh, <laughs> dub smash, yo. <laughs> that beats side B. Yeah. Just sucks you in. That call out, man. Yeah. I mean, two if, stock if the too. thing is, if Razo had waited a little bit, he could have uh, hit, w waited out the hitbox and it would have hit him. Yeah, it's still kind of weird. But, like, Nico just called him out. It yeah. Was good, it was just a good call out coming in for Nico. I mean, it's just a timing thing. Like, side B with Peach allows you to punish a lot of moves that you wouldn't be able to otherwise. But because of the startup, you just kind of have to anticipate when they're going to hit or throw them out. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, my this God. Be so much damage. Yeah, and a grab and a back 73. air. 73. That's Peach for you, folks. These double jump cancels. Bears coming in. A lot of pressure, too. Uh-oh. Razo's no, still going to barely make it back, though. Peach's uh, vertical recovery is it's pretty good. Um, and Ooh. horizontal. Almost died. Bad. Like, if he got stomped, he was dead. But this is a really bad spot for Nico. Once, yeah. If Razo gets that turn up, it, it's nearly impossible for uh, Nico to get back on. He, like, he barely got on. It was just like... Yeah, once you have... It's the bare minimum. Like, you, oh, if you don't have a hitbox on your recovery, like Falcon... Oh, man. Uh, you're so susceptible to those turn ups. Oh, uh, great bear coming in from uh, Razo, though. It really becomes like a flow chart, edge guard. Oh my gosh, look oh, at this. Yeah. 50, 62%. In the air, he still gets the, those uh, disjointed up airs. So good. I like how Razo, when he starts the edge guard, he floats like at the, basically where your hands would touch the, uh, the ledge. And then he lets go of the float to finish off the dare. And like that's, it, it's kind of like how he follows up on it. Yeah. Okay, this is 
with the turn up. Oh, that yeah, Ferris still the poke. Yeah. He just loved to go for that option. You're just so afraid when you're in the corner because it's oh turn up combos. We saw this like first stock. And now this is not looking good for Nico at all. Yeah, he's really popping off with these combos. Up air, up yeah, air. So up airs. Oh nice parry. Oh, oh what? Parry. Right. Parry into counter. You don't see that option very and often. He just died. Uh-huh. Got stomped. Yeah, smash. I don't know. And we'll he's getting a little bit spread there. Maybe he was trying to catch a jump there or something, but it looks like maybe he's having a few with miss up inputs. Uh, oh, that nearly killed him. There, gets the last hit of the dare there. I'm not going to get to end it really anything now. Waiting him out. Bear not going to connect. Yeah. Falcon's still out of dash attack range. To kill. Yeah, he's still going to live this. But it is a solid option if your opponent gets to higher percents as speech. Like right about now, I think it'll kill. I don't know if it's a little stale, but if Puzzle gets dash attack. Um, oh, the uh, knee! He's not gonna get it though, Puzzle just got need. How is, how is he getting away with this? I don't, he, 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 had, he expected Razo, or Razo went to pressure his shield with back air, uh, which I don't really know why he did that. Maybe he was hoping that he would let go of shield, but um, it's like pretty safe on shield. And then, yeah, it is. It's about six or seven frames, I think, startup. And but uh, he could have gotten grabbed, but also he could have just jumped in the air and eat him like that. Yeah. There's these bears coming in. So much damage. Oh, yeah, that I like that strange. though. A lot of shield pressure there. You're not gonna leave anything though. I mean, shield pressure is great, but if you can't break your shield, uh, your opponent's shield, uh, then you probably shouldn't push buttons until they can punish you. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice parry, but he's gonna get the punish. Chef's really done, so I love it. Oh, oh, fair's oh, trading. Trade, yeah. Said though that that down smash or the fair, it does have some startup time, so you can beat it out if you're fast enough. Oh, oh I only, yeah, I only got him with one. Yeah, I mean that's the kind of thing the lesser player would have panicked and like maybe air dodged or something after getting hit by that dare, but Nico wisely just hold, holding out B again. Oh, cut that. Turn up. This is really bad. Oh. <laughs> I almost connect. If that connected, that would have been disgusting. Yeah. Forward throw. Ooh. I like it. Yeah, counter idea there. Because that does hit below the ledge. It would have clipped uh, Falcon trying to get back, but it wasn't low enough to where you catch it at a degree where he would try to snap the ledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Rosso <laughs> trying to go for the... Oh, oh, drag down up there. Still going with this combo and 73% still. Don't you dare get hit by Nair once. Oh, dare to bear. Not going to kill him? Guess not. Rosso nice still living. Looks like he's going to take this game. Oh, he was up two stocks the last game, though. Like You're two stocks wrong. with zero, with zero percent, and he still came back. He was getting knocked back and forth, back and forth on this ledge, and then he just got that one opportunity to stomp him, and he took it and he killed him. Oh, this is oh, really bad. Though. He's yeah, dead. Yeah. Oh no, no, he's not. Okay. Man, I am so. Razo, no, I think if Razo short hopped and then threw the turn up down to catch uh, to his recovery there. Now we'll be there. I think he, he would have sent him back off stage mm -hmm. and then set up for another edge guard, and which he could only have the up B there. He could have just kept chucking turnips at him until he died. Mm -hmm. Once you get to high enough percent as Ganon or Bowser or Falcon, where they have those uh, recoveries like that, mm -hmm. uh, you can just keep chucking turnips at them until they get knocked off because they only have one option. Mm -hmm. You just you jump over them and then chuck the turnip down, and if you aim it just so that it hits them away from the stage, it's a just a bread and butter repeat mm -hmm. uh, edge guard. All right.
right, so we got a. Uh, we're looking for a new stage. There are probably other characters that works on as well too, but those are the ones I have the most experience against. We're still going Falcon. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely shown that he can steal games with his character, so. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I feel like the Wolf matchup was problematic for him. With this matchup, uh, it was also like he was down two games, right? Like he was, yeah. I mean, he, it was like, it was 2-1 K9's favor, and Nico needed to bring it back. If he lost, he would have gone to losers. But now he's he's up a game in this one. So he, if he loses this one, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go uh, Shulk. But it's gonna be, it, it, he's fine right now. I think it depends Ooh. on how badly he wants it. Yeah. Yo, he's going it. Oh, the float. Oh, it tries to, yeah, that's really hard. I don't even know if you can do that with Falcon. So the parasol hitbox is pretty uh, long. It's long, but those feet, dude, they, they reach sometimes. Yeah, oh, you can do it down smash, that was a good option. And that covered nearly everything right there. Yeah. yeah I think it would have lost to get up attack. Yeah, get up attack. Uh, might have been able to roll away. Barely. Because uh, he was like really close to the ledge. He was. But I think he was just further, far yeah. enough. Down, down throw. throw. Up air, up air, up air. Do it again. No, up it's not Mario. It's only, well, on specific percents, you can get it. <laughs> you can, it's actually a kill confirm on specific percents. If you get it <laughs> towards the edge of the stage, uh, you can just kill someone with it. It's hilarious. Yeah, I can, I can imagine. It's like that 64 combo. Oh, you just went for the knee, dude. In my opinion, the, the Super Hit Smash Bros. 64 sound effects are the best. They are. They're pretty. They're pretty fire. So satisfying to hit people in that game. Ooh. Oh. 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 Okay. He's dead no, he's, here. Uh. No. He's still yeah, fine. He still can live. Oh. But there we go. Turn up to fair. Drop down. Turn up to fair. And he's got a dot eyes here. Ooh. That's 25. Yep. Thanks for playing. Ah. Raza's still down here. But oh no. Oh. Uh, like that's where he usually starts, but he. Yeah. The thing is like. When you get a turn up like that, it's dead. That's death. He got him a and single hit in there. Into fair. You know, his turn up pulls can be such a momentum shift. Like, mm -hmm. But my man, all right, people. Remember, when you see Captain Falcon for Nico on the 